Yo, what's up? Today, let's make a track like JPEG Mafia. Barrington Hendrix, also known as JPEG Mafia, is a rapper, singer, and producer, born in Flatbush, New York, but calls Baltimore his home. Known for his rambunctious shows, unique production style, and incredible interviews. JPEG got into music in his early teens, listening to lots of hip-hop artists like Ice Cube and Cameron, but also got into some rock bands like Skinny Puppy, Throbbing Gristle, and Hanson. I'm not kidding. First music I ever liked was fucking Hanson. Like, um, you remember Umba? By the time he was 15, he got interested in sampling and started making his own beats. But anytime he sent beats to his friends, they never really liked them, so he decided to rap over them himself, perfecting his craft as an MC. When he was an adult, he enlisted in the military and joined the Air Force. He toured in Iraq and spent some time in Kuwait, Germany, and Japan. While in Japan, he decided to release music under the name Devon Hendrix, but later created a collective with him and his friends, all of them putting Mafia at the end of their name. By 2015, he was honorably discharged from the military and started living in Baltimore, Maryland. He began performing as JPEG Mafia later that year and has just kept the ball rolling since. He dropped his first full-length album, Black Ben Carson, in 2016, Veteran in 2018, All My Heroes Are Cornballs in 2019, and LP in 2021, producing every single song on those albums and garnering tons of fans for his unique spin on hip-hop. Peggy is unapologetically himself, a true artist with his own artistic expression, where his ideologies and beliefs are expressed completely unfiltered. He is a person who truly represents the essence of hip-hop. JPEG is known for his use of sampling, making tracks out of anything you can think of. He sampled songs from punk rock bands, anime soundtracks, and even Soulja Boy winning a game of Fortnite. For my track, I wanted to implement a ton of different sampling methods and create something really chaotic but cohesive. I put my thinking cap on and tried to summon my inner Peggy, and I started off with a sample from one of my favorite video games growing up, Sonic Riders. I'm actually going to interpolate this sample by using the midis from the song and playing them in FL Studio. The main chords are being played with Synth 1, it's a free plugin, and the bass was being played in Fruity DX10. I took both of these sounds and ran them through the same mixer channel. I added two EQs, Origin for some vinyl buzz, and Stereo Shaper. Another person I sampled was myself. I actually had this clap drum loop from another song I was working on, and it reminded me of the claps Peggy uses in songs like Bald. I cut some of the highs out, added reverb and Stereo Shaper, and lastly I added this glitch effect for the last few bars. And of course, I wouldn't be sampling right if I wasn't sampling with Tracklib. This video is sponsored by Tracklib. Tracklib is an online record store designed specifically for sampling, offering quick and easy sample finding for all songs in different genres all over the world, including artists like Isaac Hayes, Louis Armstrong, and Mozart. Tracklib has a constantly growing catalog of over 100,000 songs to sample from, and with their newest update, Tracklib Beats, you can use different draft drum loops to fit your samples, giving you an idea of how they can be used in different genres. The song I'm using today is a jazz song from a German composer, and the boom bap setting gave me a lot of ideas that I could use for later. And since this song, along with 90% of Tracklip's catalog, is under the C license, I can clear the sample for a fraction of the price compared to normal clearing methods. And it's not just me. Plenty of artists like J. Cole, Lil Wayne, and Brock Hampton have taken advantage of Tracklip's incredible service, and you can too. Using my link in the description, you get a free 30-day subscription and 15 download credits, so you can get into crate digging right away. Huge thanks to Tracklib for sponsoring this video. Let's flip the sample. All right, so boom, back in FL Studio. I like the drums from the sample, so I EQ'd the lows out and looped the intro. I also added this gross beat preset, so the drums come in with that tape start effect. I also wanted to sample this video because I thought it was funny. Oh, shit, soda cup. Hey, come, we got the goddamn, come, we got the goddamn minutes of, minutes of car here, show. So JPEG uses a pretty wide variety of drums throughout his discography. He would use a mix of trap drums, acoustic drums and cymbals, EDM snares, and very fuzzy and distorted basses. His drum selection almost feels like he went to a junkyard and just started putting stuff together. For my track, I just started putting a bunch of sounds together as well, starting off with these trap-styled kicks and snares. I'm also using this tinny sounding hi-hat and this cool breakbeat sound. I also layered some more breakbeat loops just for some flair. 
Peggy also uses those dirty basses in songs like Hazard Duty Pay or 1593 North Calvert, so I'm using this cool bass to play the bass line. What the fuck is this? It's music. It's music. It's, it's, this is garbage. It's beautiful. So now that the drums are done, I wanted to revisit that track lib sample from earlier. Earlier I mentioned that I really liked the drums from the sample, so I used them for the first half of the song. But upon further inspection, the rest of the song is also fire. So I'm gonna make a beat switch focusing around the sample in its entirety. I'm aiming for a similar vibe to some of Peggy's chiller songs, like Untitled off of LP. For this section, I took out the EQ I made earlier by making this automation after the first beat ends. And I also added another automation to change the tempo of the song. I'm also reusing the drums from earlier to play on top with a couple more drum loops to fill it out. One of my favorite loops that I used in this song was this normal drum loop that I have running through Fruity Granulizer. I literally just have it playing random notes, I'm using it just as a texture. <laughs> JPEG Mafia's rap style is very honest and direct. He tends to talk about subjects he's passionate about, like his personal struggles, politics, and just keeping it real. Peggy also likes to reference video games, pop culture, and pro wrestling, even sampling The Edge's theme song in multiple tracks. He also likes to talk about his height being 5'9", and also shouts out people who are also 5'9". His rap flow is pretty steady and repetitive, sticking to one flow for about 8 bars before switching it up. However, he's got a ton of flows to choose from, including those fast triplet flows and those high energy shouts. He's great at keeping the listener on their toes. His vocal effects are also pretty interesting too. They have this simple, dry tone to it, but sometimes he'll drench his vocals in delays and reverb. They feel very punk inspired and very raw. Real talk. I love JPEG Mafia. His music is just so different and creative, and he does such a good job subverting what we expect from hip hop. From his sample choices to his vocal delivery, everything just feels unique. The first song I heard from him was his performance of Thug Tears on Colors, and I thought to myself, yep, that was different. All I need is rest. But after hearing some of his other tracks and some of his feature performances, I really became a fan of his style. And if you're an artist looking for some wise words, here's my two cents. Don't be afraid to be different. Peel off my city in the nighttime. 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 